All right, to the segments. It's Big Ten Media Day today, one of our favorite days of the year, a great day that signals that basketball season is almost here. This year it is in Minneapolis. As you can tell, we are not in Minneapolis. That's a bummer. Carter, do you want to give an official statement on why Sleepers Media is not in Minneapolis at Big Ten Media Day? Uh, Because it is in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Thank you for that. Uh, (laughs) Probably a little bit of a cop-out, but simple as that. We would have uh, intended to go if it was – not in Minneapolis, and uh, or or if or if somebody wanted us to go, I guess there were some ways we would have gone in Minneapolis, but those ways ultimately did not come to fruition. So, anyways, here we are. Point is, it's a bittersweet day because I love Big Ten Media Day. One of my favorite memories, one of the best experiences that we've had as the sleepers was our first Big Ten Media Day when we had no idea what we were doing, but we just showed up and asked a bunch of fun questions to a bunch of players, and uh, in honor of that. I would like to come up with a list and present this list of six questions that we would have asked if we were at Big Ten Media Day today. We good with that? We are good with that. Did we leave out my question, my 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 bit question? You can start by that honorable mention. We we did talk about this ahead of time. I'm trying to play it off like we did, but we have six questions we would have asked if we were at Media Day. We will present them. We also have a few honorable mentions. Why don't you give your honorable mention? My honorable mention is I would have asked everybody what was the best song off for all the dogs. <laughs> what's that, your, that, what's huh? your answer? What's your answer to that? Ooh. This is going to mm. tell me a lot about you and where your head's at right now. Yeah, I think I would either go... Uh, I think right now, I think I'd go Amen. Uh, oh. Amen or What Would Pluto Do? Those are two of my five favorites. Does 8 a.m. in Charlotte count? See, I didn't put that in there, but that would be in my favorites, but I, but I already heard it. I think if 8 a.m. in Charlotte counts, that's the correct answer. But uh, I like your two call-outs. Kind of weird we're on the same page. Normally, we don't have the same taste in Drake songs. I really like this album. <laughs> I just want to get that out there. Yeah, I we, do. we don't have the same page anymore. Let's move on from Drake talk before we lose more subscribers. Uh, my <laughs> the my honorable mention for the question I would have asked is to Boo Booey, are you free this Friday? <laughs> uh, yeah, the kind of miss, but I'm shouldn't. But here's the here's our six questions. Six questions. If we were at Big Ten Media Day, this is what we would have asked. Uh, number six. Let's go in reverse order. Number six. We would ask Xavier Johnson, how many NBA players are on this Indiana team? What do you think Xavier Johnson would say to that question? He'd say at minimum five. I think that might be low on what he would say. You think he'd say higher than that? Well, I like naming names. He's going to say the three front court guys. He's going to say himself. So at yeah. minimum, he's going to say four. And then I think he would show some love to like CJ Gunn, maybe Trey Galloway. That's I what know. I was thinking. That, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking those four for sure. And, and the three front court himself. So that's four. And then CJ Gunn. That's what that's literally who I thought he would say. Yeah. Okay. I wish we could ask you, Xavier Johnson. Hope you have a great day at Media Day. Wishing you the best of luck this season. Hope everything goes fantastic and all your dreams come true. Uh, bummer. I, this is making me so sad we're not there. To our next one, number five on Big Ten Media Day questions we wish we would have asked today. I would have asked Chris Holtman. What are you going to miss about Bryce Sensabaugh? What do you think you would say? Well, obviously you're going to miss the Big Ten freshman of the year and one of the best scorers in the conference in a first-round NBA draft pick. That's what he'd say. That was a really good Holtman impression, honestly. That's the politically correct answer, right? Just like, and, that's what, that, and that's what he'd say. A good, nice promotion for the Buckeye basketball program. A Buckeye program that we are really buying into this year. My, bu- my Buckeyes. Uh, what if he was given like some truth serum? What do you think Chris Holtman would say if, if he was put to like a lie detector test and I was just prodding him with Bryce Sensabaugh questions, what would he say? It'll be nice to play with a team that likes each other. A little more effort defensively. I'm really, I really like this group. I think we'd get a lot of that. I really like this group of guys. I really like this group of guys. I I can't wait to track tips and hustle plays this season because <laughs> I couldn't last season. To our fourth favorite question that we wish we would have asked today at Big Ten Media Day, I would go up to Braden Smith. 
And I would ask him, you know what? I'm I'm going to pretend you're Braden Smith here. Braden, I don't know if you saw this in the offseason or not, but uh, an Indiana blog site made a list of the top 25 players in the Big Ten. Do you know where you were at on that list? I'm guessing I wasn't on there, was I? And then my follow-up question would be, can you name the 25 players that inside the hall thinks are better than you in this conference? And I bet I would bet money Braden Smith could name the 25 players they listed out of him. You think like he pulled a Draymond who was drafted before him thing? 100%. I'm on Ross St. Brown move. Like Before I even get to asking the follow-up, he's midway through the teens on his list. Like he, Zed Key gets a call out quickly. We We might – need to clip this and actually just tag Braden and ask him. Yeah, I think we're going to – we need to do the new thread thing. You did a thread for us yesterday. We might just need a thread every day. Of like, yeah. here's six questions we wish we would have asked at Big Ten Media Day today. And so, I'll, I'll get in my CC bag. Braden, go ahead. Give us, uh, give us your answer to that question. We would love to know. To number three on our list of questions we wish we would have asked at Big Ten Media Day. You, actually, this is yours from Michigan State. Do you want to reveal this one? Yeah, so I want to get Jaden, AJ, and Tyson together. And on the count of three, I want them to answer at the same time, who's going to lead the team in scoring? Mm -hmm. I think think Tyson would point to himself. (laughs) I think AJ would point to himself. I think Jaden would point to Tyson. Ooh, what does that say about Jaden? Just like unselfish, good read of the team? All I would say is that I hope you guys realize what you just did because the guy standing next to me recording this, this you in this situation, is going to have some think pieces on this segment, on this question. <laughs> I hope hey, you realize what you've just done. Body language PhD, man. Let, uh, fleshing out this scenario because this is kind of like the prisoner's dilemma of basketball. I, I love this question from you. Uh, what would be your ideal answer? Like, Would your best case answer here be that – all of them point to Tyson or would your best case answer be that all of them point to themselves? Mm. Like as a fan, what are you rooting for their answer to be in that scenario? Tyson pointing to himself, AJ pointing to Tyson, Jaden pointing to Tyson. Everyone That's my idea. Tyson. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I mean, Hey, uh, honorable mention, uh, big 10 player of the year preseason Tyson Walker, by the way, he got a vote, man. We have to acknowledge. Uh, I, w- I was just looking this up because I wasn't too sure. Do we know who Michigan State took the media day? <laughs> last year was everyone, right? <laughs> no, last year. Oh, what was it? Last, last year, year they took six guys. Did they? Yes. they took. Last year they took AJ, Tyson, Jaden, Madi, Malik, and Joey. Oh, I need to see who they took. I need to look up the Instagram page. I know Malik did for sure, and I know Tyson did because I think I saw them load like getting on the plane. Yeah, I, the funniest thing was last year they took absolutely everyone. This year, I would assume they would just run it back with the five without Joey and leave the freshman at home. But hmm. maybe not. I don't know. Maybe Trey Holloman got an invite this year. It's a, I don't know if you've heard this, Cart. Tom Izzo loves his team. <laughs> yeah, he does. Hey, Tom Izzo loves his team this year. So I, I would not be surprised if there's 13. Well, he has 12 players on this day. 12 were in Minneapolis today. To our number two favorite question. Uh, I don't know what's up with my camera today. Everything's bad. This is the number two question on our list of questions we wish we would have asked at Big Ten Media Day today. Uh, to a sleeper's follower, by the way, he just uh, gave me the Twitter follow this week. I exchanged some DMs with this person. Big fan of this person right now. I would ask Jace Howard, start, bench, and cut the following three players. Pick one to start, to bench, and to cut. Hunter Dickinson, Jed Howard, and Kobe Bufkin. I think he would answer that so quickly. What's the answer that Jace would give us? I think he'd start with cut, first of all. And he'd cut Hunter. Would he? Cut Hunter, sit sit Jet, start Kobe. Okay, there's no way that Jace is sitting Jet. There's I think no he way. would. There's no way. J- Jace is starting Jet. I don't think so. I think he'd start Kobe and sit Jet. Is that a is that a subtle play some defense, bro? I don't, I don't know what it is, but I just know I know for a fact 
that would be the answer. And I would love the follow up question to that by me. I would ask him if I look like I could be a Howard child. And if you have Jet and Jace, what would my name be? Jarter. Jarter Howard. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue. That does that sound that's a bad name. Uh yeah. I do do you think there's any hesitation in him cutting Hunter though? That was his boy last year. I mean, they were on the coast of Mykonos. Yeah, I know, but like he didn't his noodles didn't warm up in the microwave or whatever Jay said. <laughs> the, the, the kitchen Tupperware melted in the pot or something like that. Something along those lines. We might have to see if I can get a real answer from Jace on this, by the way. Um, again, wish we were at media day. Would have loved to ask Jace this question, but Jace, if you want to feel free and just give us the answer, start bench cut Hunter jet Kobe would love to know. Uh, and final, by the way, can I get my answer quickly on that? Just yeah. quickly. You start Kobe, you bench Hunter, you cut Jet. Cuts his brother? That's my answer for me. That's not my oh. answer for Jet. If my if I'm Jace, my answer is start Jet, bench Kobe, cut Hunter. Okay. Yeah. But I'm I'm not Jace. You you are not. I'm not. Let's move on to our final question. The number one question we wish we would have asked at Big Ten Media today. To our good friend, the only way this is going to end, we would have gone to Coleman Hawkins. And we would ask Coleman this. Coleman, can you please list the top five point guards on this Illinois team? <laughs> what do you think Coleman's answer would be to that question? He He's putting himself one. <laughs> he's putting himself one. He's putting Ty Rogers two. <laughs> Terrence Shannon three. Harmon four. Gives Lawhorn five. Okay. I think you got the five guys right, at least. But isn't isn't Moretti kind of point guardy? Yeah, but oh man, scenes if he left gives Lawhorn off the list. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. That would be that would be the that would be the start. <laughs> That'd be the beginning. That would be the moment they look back on if stuff went south during the season. So first of all, I want to just say this. This is not something Coleman ever does, but I think Coleman is smart enough. I think he would duck this question. If we actually ask Coleman Hawkins this question, I think Coleman's smart move would be to not do it, openly say he's ducking it, and then make a Hunter Dickinson reference. Like, that would be the best case answer for Coleman. Like, no, I'm just going to pull a Dickinson. I'm ducking this one. That would have been iconic. If he actually answered it, I don't think he would put himself at one. I don't think he'd do that. I think he'd play, like, the teammate card. Really? You think you think he'd be on the list, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. oh, okay. He might be two, but uh, yeah, man, I hope someone asks about Illinois point guard in general. I'm sure they will ask like Brad and Brad will give a politically correct answer. But man, this is why sleepers media needs to be at a day like this, because we would ask the hard hitting questions. OK, and Coleman, if you want to answer this to your good friends on the sleepers podcast, our door is always open. But uh, we'll clip this out today. Maybe we can get you to actually answer Coleman. If you're watching this right now, I'm asking you man to man, heart to heart. Who are the top five point cards on this Illinois team? I just want to know. I also want to know what Tyler Underwood eats for breakfast. <laughs> right. Uh, enjoy Big Ten Media Day. Hopefully you guys get some good content out there, any Big Ten basketball fans. And uh, hopefully in the future we can find our way back to that event. Hopefully they don't put it in, like, Washington, D.C., though. And or like It'll probably be in L.A. or Vegas, right? Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, good. Realignment.